Princess Twilight Sparkle. Welcome. Who are you? The answer to that question is complicated. We'll address it in due time, but for now... You may refer to me as Vesper. Okay, Vesper. Why am I here? How did I get here? Where is here? Why does this place look like the castle of the... Mm -mm? Trust me when I say none of that matters right now. Here's what's really important. Celestia's crown? How did you get that? Did something happen to her? Did you? Enough questions. questions. All you need to know is that I am not your enemy, Twilight Sparkle. If you want to leave this place, all you have to do is take the crown. And then what? And give it to someone else who deserves it more than Celestia. Oh, I thought that was going a different direction. I thought... That I wanted you to rule Equestria? No, you wouldn't like that, would you? So much power, so much responsibility. So little time to spend with your friends. No, Luna would do fine. Sunset Shimmer has proven her worth. Even Pinkie Pie would work. So long as you're no longer under the strings of a deluded tyrant. Come again? You heard me. Celestia? Incompetent. Evil. The former, more likely. She is not! No. Well, then tell me this! How many times has she let Equestria suffer when she could fix the problem herself? How many times has she put your life on the line as a means of teaching you? How many of her poor decisions have backfired and made you suffer? I... I... Can't we talk about this? Celestia is a wonderful ruler, and I'm sure if we sit down and discuss it, I could change your mind? That's unlikely. I would prefer not to waste time. But if you force this on me, then you're no better than you claim Celestia to be! Fine. You have a point there. Oh, thank goodness. Now, Twilight Sparkle, let me show you the truth about Celestia. Let's start with something memorable. Nightmare Moon. I'm aware she couldn't use the elements of harmony, for whatever reason, but I find this troubling. She sent you, a simple unicorn at the time, and five other girls on a mission to save the world against an alicorn with unbelievable magical powers and strength, instead of an army, or even lifting a single hook to help you herself. Well, okay. Um, well, she couldn't make an army. That didn't work so well the first time. They lost pretty quickly. No, I mean over time. Preparations. Build up a large army to take Nightmare Moon down when she reappears. Are you sure that's a good idea? It took so many ponies to raise and lower the sun and moon in the past. And Celestia does it with no effort. Also, in my fight with Tarek, the magic of four alicorns evenly matched the magic of every pony in Equestria, with Discord included. The strongest of us carries more magical power than a quarter of the entire pony population at a minimum. What's your point? My point is... With all of that power, Celestia still lost to Nightmare Moon. What hope do you think an army would have against a being even more powerful than that? Sending in an army to face Nightmare Moon would have been like sending gems to face a dragon. And she had the foresight to not allow so many pointless casualties. Oh, I think you underestimate the value of a good plan and some preparation. Celestia had a thousand years after all, but what puzzles me is she felt the need to keep it all a secret, even from you. 
Surely you would have been able to evade so much of the danger had you been a little more prepared. Prepared how? She could have at least told you about it all first. You sure that would have worked? Back then, I didn't want friends of any kind. If I were told I had to make friends in order to save the world, I likely would have seen them as a means to an end, and they wouldn't really be my friends. Honesty, kindness, generosity, loyalty, laughter. I wouldn't have recognized any of those virtues if I hadn't experienced them like I did. Is that your logic? Or your feelings telling you that. Hmm. I agree that if it did end up like you claim, that would have jeopardized the whole thing. That's the problem here. We don't really know what could have happened. As you said, Celestia had a thousand years to make a plan, and she picked this one. I admit it was a tricky gambit that placed me and all my friends in danger. But it worked in the end, so I can't blame her for that. I still believe it was too risky. But you're right about one thing. There are too many unknown variables. I'll concede the possibility. Nothing more than that. However, let us move on to Celestia shoving her responsibilities onto you. What? The dragon. She sent six ponies off on a dangerous journey to shoo away a dragon that almost killed you. What? He wasn't trying to kill us. He was just cranky because Rainbow kicked him in the face. He could have hurt me or my friends with his immense size or his fire breath, but he didn't. But he was a dragon. Dragons are dangerous. You had no idea if he was safe. Um, that's speciest? Excuse you? Speciest. Saying that all dragons are dangerous? Sure, we don't know that much about dragons, but judging an entire species based on the actions of a few is... Wow. Just wow. Semantics. Even so, Celestia should have done this herself. She could have hoofed the dragon away. What? If Celestia dealt with the problem using magical aggression without due process, that's no better than her being a bully and tyrant. I thought you didn't want that. I was being figurative. She sent you as the diplomat in this. Why not send herself? Maybe she was busy with something else. Or maybe she didn't care enough. What about the local avalanche zones? Those almost crushed you. I don't know. Maybe she just didn't know they were there. She's not omniscient. Look, neither of us are gaining any ground here. Let's just move on. Fine. Celestia could be debatably innocent with the dragon. But why didn't she help you during Discord's first attack? Surely Celestia could have accompanied you on your quest to find the elements. How could she have helped? Discord's more powerful than she is, and Celestia's not connected to the elements, and... Wait a minute. She did help me! How did... Oh, yes. The letters. Exactly. Discord liked to corrupt ponies with his manipulation of the truth. It isn't hard to assume that he would likely try some sort of ironic twist on me and my friends to satisfy his warped sense of humor. He could easily have made us forget about what made friendship special. And he did. The only way to counter such a thing would be to remind us of what made the things we valued so special in the first place. But how could she have known? She's fought him before. Maybe she sent them as a precaution. Or maybe she thinks heartbreak and corruption are dramatic. Sadist. <sighs> this is becoming frustrating. No solid proof of her guilt? 
but none for her innocence either. So we just need to look at something where she was clearly guilty. How about... Sombra? Celestia knew he had returned, and still only sent you and your friends to face him without the elements of harmony. Hold on there. Celestia never said that she knew Sombra returned. Technically, she only showed me that Sombra existed. Not my point. She had sent you on a likely dangerous trip with just your friends, but without the elements of harmony as backup. Bit of a lack of preparation on her part. Celestia apparently thought your test was worth risking an entire kingdom over. Why did she not see the danger? Um, because... No one was in any real danger. Oh, I need to hear this. Well, um... Ah! Well, Luna and Celestia were enough to defeat Sombra the first time. If things went sour, we could have easily sent a message to them, and they could easily put Sombra down for another thousand years if they chose, and I... I would have failed my test. Hmm. With that in hindsight, Sombra was more of a nuisance than an actual threat. <sighs> How disappointing. Wait, you're agreeing with me? I'm not unreasonable. When I think about it, I'm not even sure what Sombra would actually do. Turn everyone into slaves? Create more of those crystals that the Crystal Heart blasted into smoke? Like last time, when he lost? Please, if he had the power to defeat the two sisters, or destroy the Crystal Heart, he would have done it a thousand years ago. A victory over you and your friends would merely have been temporarily unpleasant. Huh. Maybe the only reason he succeeded in that alternate timeline was because Luna wasn't there to help Celestia. Possible. Still, either of them could have come and helped drive off Sombra when he appeared. Well, uh... <laughs> that's kinda... my fault? What do you mean? I... kind of misinterpreted what Celestia said. She did send me to do a task, but I thought I had to do it all by myself as part of a test. But the problem is, if I had to do it myself, there would be no reason to send my brother, Cadence, and my friends there too. Let me guess. The reason you didn't contact Celestia once you found Sombra was you thought he was part of the test. In hindsight, not one of my smarter moments. Anyways, every time I found myself in over my head, it's because I overestimated my abilities, not her. Terra sprites, diamond dogs, all those dangers you mentioned. Celestia didn't lift a hoof to help me with them because I didn't ask her to. If she always swooped in and solved all my problems for me, then I never would have been able to rise up to her level. I think you're mistaking parental love for lazy neglect. Suppose you had asked for help. Do you really think she would have come for you? 100%. I disagree. Remember the wedding, when she should have trusted her most faithful student that something was amiss in a state of heightened security? Or were you just not that important to her? Hey, that doesn't count. I barged into the wedding rehearsal with the circumstantial evidence and slanderous accusations, and had the gall to just expect everyone to take my word for it. Oh, now you're being ridiculous. It shouldn't have mattered if no one else had seen what you did. She still should have acknowledged you. All of Canterlot. My accusations didn't have anything to do with the threat against Canterlot. No one had even guessed that the changelings were involved at that point. All I knew was that I thought my brother was going to be marrying a rotten pony. And you didn't go to Celestia because you felt like you had to do it on your own. Yes. I never claimed to be perfect. 
I was sad and angry, and I wasn't thinking straight. I felt alone. But I wasn't. She was always looking out for me. It's not her fault if I forget that sometimes. You have a way of blaming yourself for her failings. Very well. And what about Tirek? What about Tirek? Don't you think that all that happened might have been avoided if Celestia had trusted you instead of someone else? Discord. Indeed. Did she not see this plan backfiring? Celestia ordered Discord's reformation. He gave a half-hearted promise, and she believed it. She immediately entrusted the spirit of disharmony with the safety of Equestria. Did it really surprise anyone when he betrayed you? Again, that's my fault. And it's probably the worst mistake I've ever made. How can you possibly cover for that too? Do you remember when Discord tricked me by pretending to have the blue flu? Yes, a cruel and deceitful trick befitting of that monster. Wrong. If you think about it, Discord was forced to fake an illness in order for me to pay attention to him. I knew better than anyone that friendship isn't always easy, but I still let all my responsibilities fall on Fluttershy instead of befriending him myself, or at least be more involved than I was. I failed my duties as the element of magic and the princess of friendship so badly that Discord had to reach out to me instead of me reaching out to him. Thinking back, I was really mean to him, only tolerating his presence rather than actually trying to be a friend. I should really apologize to him once I get back. But how does that justify Celestia trusting Discord after his reformation? Celestia trusted Discord because she trusted me. She trusted me as the bearer of the element of magic and the princess of friendship to befriend Discord sufficiently so that his allegiance to us was assured. But don't you see? This never would have happened if you hadn't listened to Celestia. Neither of you had proof that you could trust Discord. That's what friends do. They trust each other. True friends don't need proof for that. You don't need proof. I've had enough of this. You know what you've proven at the end of all of this? Nothing. You haven't proven Celestia's innocence. All you've nearly done is present another possibility. Well, you haven't proven anything either! You don't see the dangers of this mindset? You don't see that what you think is trust is in actuality a very dangerous blind faith! Well, with that attitude, how can you trust anyone? You're missing the point of what I'm saying. You need to take control of your own destiny. You can't let Celestia keep influencing your decisions. You're not her pet. You need to make your own choices and decisions. It's the right thing to do. It's what you should do. You want me to make my own decisions? You want me to carve my own destiny? Fine then! What have you done? I chose. I chose her instead of you. I may forget this a lot and have to relearn it constantly, but my friends are always there for me when I need them. And guess what? My oldest friend is Princess Celestia, and I will never, ever turn on her! Princess Celestia! Princess Luna! I knew you'd come for me. Of course we did, Twilight. I would never abandon you. 
Oh, I see you've blown up my missing crown. Sorry, Celestia. I felt I had to make a point. Wait, more importantly, how did you find me? It's a long story of little import at the moment. More imperative, who is our mystery kidnapper? Don't bother. I already figured everything out. What? How? Easy. I've been thinking about this through our whole debate, which is why I was a little sloppy. Firstly, I had to figure out where I was. If this were a dream, Princess Luna would have saved me earlier. If I were taken to the actual castle of the two sisters, Starlight or Spike would have noticed I was missing, and then they'd find me. We aren't in an alternate timeline, either. The time scroll was destroyed. The only thing that makes sense is a different dimension. Chrysalis wouldn't have such an intimate knowledge of my adventures. Neither would anyone else who has a grudge for that matter. And since you confirmed events unfolded pretty much the same in both our timelines, none of this world's villains could have done this either. As to who you are, I knew you couldn't be any of my enemies. But the giveaway was that you somehow knew everything that went on inside my head, except for what mattered most. And since we're in a different world, the only thing that makes sense is... You're me. No, I am nothing like you, Twilight Sparkle. I'm so much more than that. I'm who you should be. All of what you are now, it's wrong. How dare you allow this tyrant to continue to enslave you? And it all will be corrected. Especially because the liar has come. Now we can finally see her for the evil which she is. What do you mean? Princess Celestia, why did you make us a princess without our permission? Really, you made us, us, of all ponies, into a princess? You entrusted powerful alicorn magic in the hooves of a mentally unstable unicorn who thought the one it needed spell was a good idea? You gave the very same unicorn the responsibility of running a kingdom without asking her first. Are you really that inconsiderate and stupid? You changed us forever and you never considered how we might have felt about the whole thing. We are not the same pony anymore. Why did you change us under this flimsy excuse about destiny? Well, answer me! Celestia, aren't you going to defend yourself? Twilight, do you hate me for my decision? What? No, that's ridiculous. No, Twilight, I want you to think hard about this. Twilight Sparkle, do you feel any resentment towards me over my decision to make you into a princess? No. No, I, I don't. This is something I've always wanted, ever since I first saw you. You wanted this for me ever since you accepted me as your student. You caused so much good to happen to me, and to grow so much. I could never resent you. But you should feel angry! You should hate her! Excuse you? We may be similar, but you are not me. You have no control over what I feel. So what if Celestia made me a princess without asking me first? Let me make this clear for you. I don't care.
Luna. Don't. You know what you need to do. No! Stay away from me! I hate you! What happened to you? What changed here to make you like this? Nothing was different from your world! I just realized the truth about you! And I wanted nothing to do with you! But... why? I've only done what I thought was best for you. I've given you so many opportunities to find happiness and joy over the years. You wanted so much from life, and I gave it to you when you earned it. Every struggle that has come your way has made you better. And when it didn't, I protected you in any way I could. You changed things! Everything was fine before you did this to me. I enjoyed just being your faithful student and just being with my friends. Nothing had to change. Why did you make everything change? Because you were destined for more than that. I saw the potential in you to be great, and I wanted you to have it. I may have provided opportunities, but in the end, you shined by your own actions. It was difficult, but you came out of each struggle braver, smarter, stronger, and a better friend. Every day you made me so proud. I did all of this for you. Because I love you. No! No! That's a lie! You, you can't love me! You can't! Sh she's evil! She doesn't care about me! She's a tyrant! She... She doesn't love me! Celestia, can't we help her? Sadly, no. But, I think someone else could. Come. We should leave before they arrive. She doesn't love me. She doesn't love me. She doesn't love me. She... she doesn't... 